With that, I would like to allow us now to um, hear from our constituents here, our people in the city who have have it submitted public comments. Uh, okay, we are going on to uh, comment three. Comes from Chad Goes Deep. What up, Council? My name is Chad Kroger. I'm an activist and a Stoke Lord. I come to you in the gnarliest of times. I don't know if you've looked outside, but it's pretty nuts. There is something called a pandemic going on. When the Q teen first happened, I managed to stay stoked. I didn't have to work and the president gave me 1200 bones. But then it started to kind of suck. The beach is closed. My buddy Dolan's girlfriend broke up with him over his Call of Duty addiction, and J. Crew went bankrupt. It was deleterious to my tan, my bro's love life, and my summer shirt collection. I was ready to let Rona sadness take over my body. And then something incredible happened. They announced Tom Cruise was making his next movie in space. In a time when most bros are tapped, trapped indoors, Tom Cruise is going into the ionosphere. He's still crushing it and observing the ultimate form of social distancing. He's made us realize there's nothing the C virus or anything else can do to stop humans from persevering to the greatest of heights and accomplishments. This is why we need to honor this maverick. How do we do that? By renaming the International Space Station, the Tom Cruise Space Station. Imagine Tom Cruise floating through space. Think how stoked he'll be to see his own name on the side of the frickin' craft. That will lead to a better performance, which will lead to a better film which will lead to a happier planet. All it takes is a rocket and some paint. It's now in your hands, City of Mission Viejo. Thank you. And a follow-up to that public comment. What up, Council? My name is JT Parr. Chad just hit the nail right on the head and fired me up. He's absolutely right. We are in a pandemic and Tom Cruise is the hero we need right now. Let me be vulnerable for a sec. This pandemic has scared me and Chad says that's okay. Growing up, I didn't get scared of stuff like this. I was only scared of report cards and intimacy. But in general, I would look death in the face, like rip on a dirt bike, roll down a steep hill with my body limp or moon traffic. It, and it has always fired people up. As I've aged, I've noticed that I don't push it as hard. I worry I've lost my edge. One person who sharpens my edge, though, is Tom Cruise. When I watch this behind the scenes training for collateral, <clears throat> I suddenly forgot what fear is, and I take charge and hustle to a busy intersection to moon people. I feel whole again. This may sound frivolous, but there is power in letting it rip, Council. In these times, more than ever, we need someone to fill our hearts with courage. A symbol that says even if we're stuck inside, a, de a determined human can still go farther than any other actor would dare. My mom is from Columbia. When I came downstairs this morning for breakfast and told her about our plan for the space station, she mentioned Tom Cruise is her hu huge and her Tom Cruise is huge in her homeland and the world over. This is extra huge because China and the U.S. are beefing. Our mutual love of Tom could quell that. Let's give the world something to look up to. I'd also like to sing a song to thank Tom Cruise. Whoever is reading this, please sing these words like Christina Aguilera. I suggest you all mute your mic so you don't have to hear this. Give me one second. Stronger makes me work a little bit harder. It makes me that much wiser. So thanks for making me fighter. Make me learn a little bit faster. Made my skin a little bit thicker. Makes me that much smarter. So thanks for making me a fighter. And that concludes his public comment. <laughs> 